In this lesson, we'll learn the slash chords for open G. We'll change the root note from the G to each of the scale steps of the G major scale to create various different chords. Now, if you remember, a slash chord or a slashed chord is also called a compound chord. It's where the root of the bass note is different than the root note of the chord. So, for example, instead of in figure two, we're going to play a G slash A chord. We're going to play the G chord to where the root is an A. So we'll use the open A, and then we'll play the rest of the G chord like we normally would. And that would be a G slash A. Um, we get this, uh, we can use the figure one the extended G major scale to look at our uh, the scale steps and you know we we just created a scale uh, excuse me we just created a, the G slash A with a uh, a scale step from the G it's the second scale step so we'll move on to the third scale step which is B and we'll create a G slash B chord as in figure three And if you remember, we used that. That was our connector chord in the key of C. We went went down from C to A minor. We used that G slash B as our connector chord. There's that G slash B, A minor, the G slash B again, back to C. But that's using the third scale step in G one two three and we use that as our root note and we end up with the G slash B in figure four let's look here at figure four is our G slash C chord which is C is our fourth scale step so if we played a G slash C chord it would look like this Moving right along, we go to D, which is our fifth skill step. One, two, three, four, five. We can use our open D, and we have G slash D. Now, in Figure Six, we we come up to the uh, sixth skill step, and when we apply that, we end up. You could still, I guess, call it a G slash E, but it's an actuality it turns into E minor 7th chord. And I'm using that low E as the low note. So whatever low note I use, I can form the rest of the chord on the remaining strings. So I'm using, we're doing G slash E, so the low root note will be E, and instead of the G there, and we play the rest of the chord the same. That's also E minor 7 chord. Now we move on to the 7th scale step, which is an F sharp. What we'll do is we'll just use that one there on the 2nd fret of the low E, and we'll omit that A string, and we get a G slash F sharp. Now technically you can uh, have a G slash any note, but more li more likely than not, you'll have uh, it'll be notes from the actual scale or uh, key signature. Now, in Figure Eight, we can tie it together. The location of this G chord gives us a nice visual, allows us to walk right up the scale and see the different slash chords uh, as they just walk up the scale. And if you use Figure Eight as a your guide, you can see that very clearly I believe. The first chord of course would be G. Then we go up to the second scale step which is A. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. And then 
and the seventh. And then back to the one. Let's try it again, a little faster. And you can kind of hear it walking up. So it's kind of neat to play with those slash chords. Uh, a lot of songwriters will use the, these chords to add depth to their songs, and it can add depth to your playing as well. So spend some time learning them, and we'll see you in the next lesson.